Hey guys, it's Brandy. I just wanted to hop on and share. I have a card share and then a storage option, like storage solution, that I wanted to share. So I'm going to go ahead and do my card share first. So um, I did a bunch of alcohol ink backgrounds and I uh, created some cards, which these ones I still have to do sentiments and or put a stamped image or something on it. Um, I have a ton of birthdays coming up that I need to make cards for, so... Um, and plus I want to send out happy mail and thank you cards and all that stuff, so uh, pretty busy in the card making uh, projects going on. But um, I wanted to share a couple cards I made with some of the inked backgrounds that I did. This one is fall. It says may fall bring you plenty of fun. And then sorry if you guys hear anything in the background, my daughter is watching a movie right now. So right here, this one says, you are pretty, pretty smart, pretty kind, pretty cool, pretty fun. And I have this popped up on foam. And then this one says, cheers. And I used the Tim Holtz alcohol inks. And then for the paper, I used um, poster board from Dollar Tree. So I it ran out of Yupo, and I bought a bunch of the poster board from Dollar Tree a long time ago, um, like last year or something, or earlier this year, um, and just decided to use that. And then this one says, I don't suffer from stress, I'm a carrier. And then this one says, sharing in the happiness of your wonderful news. And then this one says, memories are meant to be made, not forgotten. This one says, life holds many blessings. This one says, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. That's by Abraham Lincoln, but again, inked background. And then this one says, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. So, and then these were just simple um, inked backgrounds, like alcohol inked backgrounds. I just put a bunch of dots all over. I didn't use my blending tool, I didn't use blending solution, none of that stuff. I just put some dots all over. So I have a bunch of um, poster board cut up so I have more that I can make uh, with that. And then here's one that I have to make a card for. And then um, my, all my alcohol inks are right here so I don't even have that much many. So um, yeah I, I have some pearls and all that stuff so some of them are all glittery. But I do need to up my game on the alcohol inks. Um, so that's my card to share. Um, haven't scrapbooked. I've scrapbooked some, but none that I can share because they're like my whole family get together. So and some people may not want their faces shown. So um, and since there's a lot of them, I'm just not going to share those. Um, but I have been working on kind of reorganizing my craft room. Like I I have like spurts where I'll craft a lot and then I will organize or I won't craft like a lot has been going on around here so I haven't been really able to get into the craft room as often as I want or feel like crafting um, mentally so um, I did go ahead and start organizing now I did get these for embellishment boxes but I figured I could use these for storing my charms because I was storing my charms in these containers from Home Depot these are like husky um, hardware storage containers and actually my Home Depot doesn't even have them on their shelf right now so I don't even know if they're going to carry them anymore. But um, I ran out of storage for my ribbon. Um, since Trina sent all that ribbon, I um, went ahead and I wanted hey. to reorganize it. Hi! You want to say hi? Say hi! Um, say hi! Hi! <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and organize it with the rest of my ribbon. So um, I went ahead and I took my charms and I took them from these because some of these charms, like as you can see, they don't even take up like a whole compartment. So it's kind of wasteful, like storage. So I use these Dollar Tree compartments for all of my charms and they fit perfectly in here. So cute little storage plus it takes less room up on my shelf. But um, I use these to store my ribbon as well, which is what I've been working on too with all that ribbon uh, Trina sent. I went ahead and I reorganized it into containers, not these ones, but um, I uh, organized all my ribbon, like some of the thinner ribbons. 
I organize onto these. Um, what I do is I t had a bobbin, like one of those thread bobbin type things like these right here. Um, and what I did is I traced it onto um, some cardboard from like cereal boxes or packaging uh, from like cereal bars and stuff like that and I keep those. And what I do is I reuse the cardboard for like mini albums, for tags, for all that stuff and then I also use it for my bobbins to wrap my ribbon around. So I just trace this a million times and then cut them out while I'm watching TV and then I just thread a bunch of ribbon around it and then I use tape to secure it. Now the only downside to this is that it does like put like a little divot into your ribbon so whenever you unravel it it might be a little bent up but um, they do have ribbon irons so if you want to you can always do that or me I just figure it'll flatten out eventually so I just don't even really worry about it um, but that's what I, how I store my ribbon is in these cases here um, eventually I'll probably have it color coded, uh, but right now I'm just kind of throwing it all into a con these containers until um, I get time to actually sort through it. Because I currently have these two, plus two, four, six, nine of these with just ribbon. So I have a lot of ribbon. That's not even all my ribbon, but um, yeah, so there's some storage solutions. Um, again, I got these at Home Depot. They may not be the cheapest out there, but um, it was just where I started getting them, and I'm kind of one where I like to have can, like uh, storage that matches. So I don't want to run out and buy like a bunch of different ones. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of like OCD in that way, I guess. But um, these colors, the pink and the blue, and I'm hoping to find maybe a purple. Um, it'll match my room colors. So I stuck with those and then I have a couple white ones. Um, the red ones I am keeping for embellishment boxes for like Christmas and stuff. But um, so yeah, there's a storage solution and a card share and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys again soon hopefully. Bye guys!